Now, I've felt convicted in the past weeks, and I feel convicted for the future to speak out in a stronger way about certain subjects that, in my opinion, are removing us from God's mission for this remnant church. Things that will take us out of the position to which God has called us. Let me briefly share just a few of them with you. Number one, guard against mystical beliefs and practices that are finding their way into the church through formats like spiritual formation and the emerging church. The basis of much of this is an emphasis on the experiential and emotional rather than a strong foundation on the Word of God. Read helpful information on this subject in the current Adventist Review, which many of you have received, an ASI special. It was passed out here at the convention. And note in particular a two-page article by Mark Finley. And watch for more material in the very near future on this very important subject. I ask you to read the Adventist Review. Bill Knott and his professional staff produce a magazine that can benefit you spiritually in a very positive way. Number two, stay away from the mystical forms of prayer such as contemplative prayer, prayer labyrinths, repetitive prayer using one word or certain phrases, or centering prayer that seems to have become popular but leads to the occult since in many cases all thoughts are eliminated from your mind, thus allowing the evil one to invade rather than have a simple and humble prayer of sharing your concerns with the Lord. Number three, resist worship styles and music that have more to do with self-centered entertainment than a humble worship of God. We have to recognize that we have many different cultures in the church and styles of worship in our worldwide church. I accept that and you should also. But everything that is done should bring glory to God and not to the participants. Whether it be the preachers, musicians, or everyone participating. We need to focus on worshiping God and elevating and not elevating self. We should lift I should say, worship and music should lift us to the throne room of heaven. Amen. I don't wish to offend anyone. And this is my personal opinion. But if music sounds like it belongs to a hard rock concert or a nightclub, it should stay there. This week's Sabbath School lesson by the principal contributor, Rosalie H. Zinke, has some very helpful points. In Thursday's section it said, what is important for worship music is that it point us to the noblest and the best, which is the Lord. Amen. Number four. And this is a little sensitive, but I want you to understand it completely. Avoid the practice, and I speak to our church leaders locally and in our organized entities. Avoid the practice of inviting major spiritual speakers who are not Seventh-day Adventists Avoid having them speak to church meetings, men's meetings, women's meetings, retreats, pastoral meetings, youth meetings, and large convocations. Now, I want, I want you to fully understand what I'm saying. I am not talking about refusing or not inviting civic, government, or religious leaders to attend a meeting. 
We need to make friends with these people. We need to share our faith with them. But what I am talking about is asking them to give a major spiritual presentation where they probably simply do not have the concept of the great controversy theme. I want to tell you that we certainly can learn from others who are not members. And we should encourage them in their own walk with the Lord to find truth. However, we need to be very proactive in requesting humble, Bible-centered, Seventh-day Adventist speakers to instruct our church members in fully understanding God's great biblical messages for this time. Amen. Brothers and sisters of ASI, if we want to finish strong, we must focus upon Jesus Christ, Amen. upon His righteousness and His almighty word. Amen. As in the Protestant Reformation, the Bible must become our foundation. The spirit of prophecy indicates that God never intended for the Protestant Reformation to end with Martin Luther, but that we were to continue that great Reformation. I'll never forget visiting recently the Wartburg Castle in Germany where Martin Luther was sequestered for almost a year for his own personal protection and to protect him from personal pride. Read about the details in the great controversy. While Martin Luther was there, God led him to translate the New Testament from Greek to German in 10 weeks using 16 different German dialects effectively creating the official German language. The printing press, which had just been invented, God's plan, became the vehicle to place the Bible in the hands of the common people and allow them to more fully understand their relationship with God. Let's use these Bibles in our hands to fully understand God's mission for the Seventh-day Adventist Church and through His power, finish strong. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming soon. And His church will finish strong. The signs of Christ's return are all around us. Ever-increasing natural disasters, political challenges that elude answers, economic misery based on greed, social and moral decay, and ecumenical advances that will deny us religious freedom. I just want to add or indicate that we should support all organizations and any effort to increase religious liberty and freedom, but not align ourselves with any organization that will neutralize our ability to proclaim the three angels' messages and finish strong. Amen. Let us focus upon Christ and His soon return. In the beautiful book, in heavenly places, page 127. We read, The more we behold Christ, talk of His merits, and tell of His power, the more fully we shall ref reflect His image in our own characters, and the less we shall submit our minds and affections to the paralyzing influences of the world. The more our minds dwell upon Jesus, the less they will be enveloped in the fog of doubt and the more easily shall we lay all our trials, all our burdens upon the burden bearer.